There we go. You're the man, man. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Your arms are tired. Your arms are tired. You want to sit down in the wheelchair or you want to go back to bed? Am I able to go back to bed now? Yes, okay. honey. It's whatever you want to do. Can I have a walk them off? Yeah, has he walked enough? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, up I'd to like you. Yeah, i to go back to bed and okay. go turn. Okay, you want to do a turn? Oh, I'm here. If she babies him when he cries, yeah. he's going to cry all the time. You know, that doesn't help us any because that's what he expects. Just gently sit down. I know exercise is great for you, but I just feel sometimes he's doing too much walking. The patient liaison officer, Melissa Morris, checks up on Billy. Having once weighed 50 stone herself, she knows what he's going through. Every time I see him, it makes me cry. I can't help but to cry. You keep calling me ma'am, you make me feel old. I kind of feel young again, and here you are making me feel like an old lady. He doesn't do anything without his mom's permission, and I worry about that. I live just down the road. Oh. I mean, literally just down the road. Wow, so. yeah. You'll be seeing me a lot. I worry that if he starts losing more weight than she wants him to do, that she may sabotage his weight loss. That's great. So I'm making it my mission to come and see him a lot. Then it may make his road a little easier. But it, it kills me because he's only 19. It literally bothers me. Bye, Billy. It was great seeing you again. Yes, it was you too. What? Yeah, well, it's got a little poop on it, too. Mm. Sure, boy. You had that infection bad. That smells terrible. I'm sorry. No, well, it's not your fault. You can't help it. <sighs> Mother's work is never done. Despite his mum's attentions, Billy continues to lose weight. And after three months, Billy has managed to lose 20 stone. But he's still finding it difficult not to think of food. I had a craving for my mom's homemade hamburgers. Uh, she makes great hamburgers, fried or on the pit. You know, thin meat. It's just um, some fresh lettuce on some bun. Uh, sausage. No, I'm, I'm a sausage. Hello. Finally, Billy is now Hi. ready for his gastric bypass. Okay. This will shrink his stomach and could change his life. It's important to remember that this operation is not foolproof. If he continue to gradually increase eating more and more, he can stretch the stomach back up. <laughs> but it would give him an opportunity for the next three, four years to correct his abnormal eating habit. Okay. It's a weird feeling, you know, I'm excited and nervous at the same time about, about this. But I was happy to hear that I was getting the surgery because, you know, I knew that it was, an, it was the next step in the, my life, next step in the, getting back my life. Go, I want to go with him now. I'm going, to hang on here, y'all. Just push. Good luck to you, darling. It's all going to be good. Let's roll. Bye, darling. Love you. Bye, baby. I'm going to walk you down there, okay? This is when Mama wished she were a doctor. But then I just stand there and cry. I just feel so bad. I'm so, I feel so, I can't let him down. Because he counts me for everything. You know, it's a big old, it's a lot of guilt to live with. It takes its toll on you. He's what I live and breathe for. And if he dies, I, I just jump in the coffin with him. There'd be no reason to live anymore. None at all. Because I lost my first baby. Triple lumen. You have any IV at all? No. Just some nitrous and some oxygen, okay? It's called laughing gas. 
He will laugh. That's funny. I'm fine. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard Billy laugh. Big old mosquito. Billy will be the last. <laughs> mosquito. See if you can pull the top part of stomach with your right hand. The surgery is being performed laparoscopically. Can you try to put camera right there? Tools, cameras and lights are inserted through holes in Billy's abdomen. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This operation creates a gastric sleeve, now, reducing the size of Billy's stomach to about the size of a banana. A couple more firing might be done. For the treatment to succeed, from now on, Billy must adjust to only a few mouthfuls every meal. All right, uh, Billy did very good. Uh, so right. he went very well. Since he first came to the hospital, Billy has lost 20 stone. But before he is allowed home, he needs to recover from surgery and try to lose another 10 stone. Sweetheart. Doesn't look like you're getting a, you got in a fight this time. He's doing pretty good. He's a little irritated this morning. He's still talking about food, though. He's saying, Mom, do you think I can eat some sausage when I come home? I said, honey, I don't know. But rather than follow his exercise regime, Billy seems to be slipping back into old habits. I'm really anxious to go home. This, the hospital's nice and all, but it's not home. You know, you're just more comfortable at home. You know you, at least I know that I'll do a lot better at home than, than I think I can up here. After a week of feeling homesick and struggling with the hospital's weight loss regime, Billy snaps and demands to go home. But doctors are worried it's too soon and all of Billy's progress could be wasted. I'm worried about my stamina, but I know once I get home, it where I'll be more comfortable, I'll be able to move around a lot easier. I'll start to build that stamina back up and I'll be fine. Since day one, he's wanted to go home. And every day was a challenge. You have to stay, you have to stay. I said, Billy, you're just not going to make it. I don't think you are. Mother, I don't hear no more. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm shut my mouth up. And all the time, my alarms are going off. You know, this isn't going to work. He's not going to make it. He's too weak. <laughs> Well, I didn't think this day would be for a while. I feel excited, happy, glad. Just, you know, like Christmas morning. You think you should have come home now? Yeah, but I it's hope just, so. Um, don't scare I don't me. Have much stamina, Mom, That's probably why he wanted to put you in a room and let you build up your stuff, baby. I wouldn't have been able to. You wouldn't have? Well, come on then. Let's do this. Go get my chair. What chair? That cushion one. What cushion chair, Billy? There is no chair. Hold gate. Hold on to the gate. Billy! I think it was too soon. Oh, Bobby. I need you ASAP. What cushion chair? Where's your cushion? What? I don't know what he's talking about. I need your help immediately, but I can't get Billy in the house. Could you come fast? Easy. Okay. I shit myself. It's okay, Mama. I'll clean you up when you get in the house. My son just had gastric bypass surgery, and he had come home just now, and he's very weak. We can't move him. We can't get him up. Uh, he needs to get back to the hospital as urgently as possible. We were trying to get him in the house. He just came from the hospital, and he got so weak, and his breathing was messed up, and he can't stand and walk. We need to get him back to Renaissance. No, no, what? Right on this side. My baby's okay. what? Ten feet from the door. He can't get up and come in here. And it's like he's dying and I can't get him in to save him. <laughs> you trying to go in? Is no. that what you want no, me to do? No, 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 no. Billy is back in hospital. After losing 20 stone, he thought he was ready to go home. But after failing to follow his post-operative exercise program, he couldn't even walk to his front door. I'm sorry, doctor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's okay. He just wanted to go home so bad. I got a solution for it. Oh, I hope you do, because I'm staying out of it. Okay. I want all the Nintendo and all the games to be taken out.